Let's understand a very simple example of a burger. This can be understood with a Big Mac index. Now, what is Big Mac index? This index was given by the economist back in 1986. The idea was to understand an informal way to measure the currencies of the countries across the globe with the currencies of America. Now, how did it actually came into play? This whole concept is based on the simple idea of purchasing power parity, which explains that the same basket of good should be considered at uh, when the exchange rates are adjusted should be at the same rate across the nations so what actually happens is whenever we are trying to understand this index let's say uh, this came up with a very easy example of big mac and big mac was one of the most popular uh, things that were sold across nearly 120 nations of the globe. So what happened was with a small change in the ingredient, moreover, the cost of the product remained the same. This included the cost of the ingredient, the cost associated with advertisements and all other forms of cost that were associated to it. But moreover, this was one of the commodity that was seen in common across the countries. So this became very easy measure to understand the differences. So what was done was actually the cost was compared on a country to country basis. So let's say the cost of the burger in the local currency in India comes out to be 60 rupees. However, the same cost in America at that time is dollar two. So what is the Big Mac index? So it comes out to be rupees 30 in this case. Now, what we do is we compare this with the official exchange rate. So what is the official exchange rate? Now, let's say at this point of time where I'm taking this data, the official exchange rate is against $1, it is rupees 60. What does this mean? This means the, con the currency as of now, when I'm taking the official exchange rate into account, since the burger at that point is being sold for rupees 30, where the official exchange rate is rupees 60, I can say the currency is undervalued by 50%. And that's how we understand the Big Mac index. Now, this Big Mac index has been important in order to understand the future exchange rate movements as well as the rate of inflation. So, two very, very important criteria which are considered under this.